Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, June 19th, 2015. This week, how to create pocket cards using blendable layers in Photoshop and Elements. Katie Pertit's blendable layers are a new concept and a great bargain in digital scrapbooking. Each blendable layer product comes as a set of PNG images that you can customize by arranging and altering them. Each set is loaded with borders and overlays and images that you can use over and over again. You can even use blendable layers to design pocket cards for your pocket scrapbook pages. Here's how. Begin by opening the blendable layers product of your choice. View the working with blendable layers in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements video tip for an easy way to load the images into one stack. Select File New or press Control N on your keyboard to create a new document the size of the card that you want to create. Standard sizes are 3 by 4 or 4 by 3 inches or 6 by 4 or 4 by 6 inches at 300 pixels per inch. Be sure to create an RGB color mode 8 bit. Alternatively, Simply open a pocket card from the store, like this Chalkboard Basics pocket card. This is a really easy way to get the rounded corners without the hassle. Make sure that you can see both the pocket card and the blendable layers document in the editing window at one time. If you can't, choose Window, Arrange, Float All in Windows. In Elements, you'll choose Window, Images, Float All in Windows. And then you can move the documents by their title bar so that you can get them side by side. Select the Blendable Layers document and click on the top layer in the Layers panel. Then scroll down and click on the bottom layer as you hold down the Shift key. This will select all of the layers and you'll see that all of the layers have now been selected so that you can drag the layers all at one time over to the pocket card, dragging from the layers panel to the document. Next, minimize your original document and drag the pocket card so that it's centered. In Photoshop, press Control alt g on your keyboard or on a Mac system that's Command-Option-G with all of the blendable layers still selected. In Elements, press Control g or on a Mac system, Command-G. This will cause the blendable layers to take on the shape of the pocket card beneath them, and you'll see over in the Layers panel that they've all moved over to the right with a bent arrow. With the layers still selected, press Control 0 or on a Mac system, Command-0 on your keyboard. This zooms out to allow you to see the bounding box of the blendable layers. Press Control T or on a Mac system Command T to get the transform controls so that you can resize the images. Shift and drag a corner to reduce the size of the blendable layers so that the images fit more appropriately on your pocket card. Now, as a word of warning, in some versions of Elements, the later versions of Elements, you'll need to omit the Shift key as you resize. If the image starts getting distorted as you drag, you'll know that your version of Elements does not require the Shift, because it should remain a perfect square. Finally, customize your card by moving, resizing, hiding or recoloring the layers that you've dragged onto the card. See the Blendable Layers video tips for customization technique. You can make the card as simple or as complex as you want by simply turning off some of the layer visibility icons over in the Layers panel. The icons look like an eyeball and they're found on the left side of each layer. Turning them off hides the layer. Make a coordinating set of cards to use on a pocket page as you alter the layers. Save each of your variations as a PNG image if you want to preserve the rounded corners, or if you're using squared corners, you can save your pocket card as a JPEG image. You'll do this by selecting File, Save As, and then changing the file type here to PNG 
or JPEG before you hit save. You can finish the set by opening and dragging a word art sentiment onto one or more of the cards. Blendable layers are one of the most versatile products available for digital scrapbooking. With just one set, you can get a huge variety of page designs. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.